Hello. Hello. Ignatius47 here. Welcome back to Alucard's Day Off. Okay. Um, what we're going to do... I'm going to cut shit up, and he's going to tell you how this game works, because yes. I didn't know, like, any of this. <laughs> okay. There's a Bloodborne wiki, and that's because this game is really fucking confusing. And hard. Because the game itself... It's meant to be really fucking doesn't hard. ...doesn't tell you anything. Well, because it tells you a couple things. None of the important stuff. Yeah, yeah, none of the important stuff. <laughs> it tells you how to move and how to fight, and, well, reasonably how to fight, and some other sort of pertinent uh, survival tips, but nothing really about the game mechanics, and I think that's important that we should talk about that so that you guys, and so that we can know what the hell is going on. Alright, first we're going to, I think we're going to start with stats. Uh, status effects are there, stat calculators for leveling. Right. Interestingly, and we didn't know this until I just pulled this up, the plain doll in the Hunter's Dream area, you talk to her, or it, or whatever it is, it's, it's a female doll. And you spend taint sauce to get levels. Blood echoes, but yeah, those things. Yes! Okay, uh, some of the some of the obvious ones we're gonna skip. Uh, well, or rather briefly touch on. Level is pretty obvious. Blood echoes is also pretty obvious. Although it should be noted that uh, you can also consume what's called cold blood dew items to yes. give yourself more of that. Insight, which we don't have any of yet, and I'm not sure how to get. I mean, I have two skulls, Madman's skulls, which will give me some. Okay. I haven't used them. Right. I don't know. So I bet know... you lose it just like your ghost echoes. Yeah. I don't know if that's a if if anti only gains through con through the consumption of items. It might be. I have no idea. We'll see. I guess. Yeah. Pull this over here so I can see it better and also see the time. That'd be good. Alright, see? See how handy this is? No. No, you can't. No, that's. Can't. You can't see my computer. Haha! -ha. <laughs> Look at that porn and nobody would know. No porn for me! Right now, anyway. Vitality! Um, assuming you've played any sort of video game, has to do with hit points and such. Okay, interesting point. Uh, once you once you increase it to 30, there are diminishing returns, and then 50 is the soft cap, and then there's a, there's a more severe HP increase drop, and then 99, of course, is the maximum stat for, I'm pretty sure, all of these. For endurance, it's for stamina and resistances, which I guess has to do with like the projectile vomit of of the crawly guys, and maybe something else that has a status effecty type grossness. Forty is the soft cap for endurance, uh, at which point you stop gaining stamina, so your green bar is full once you bring it up to forty. But the resistances increase all the way to 99. So that would probably be a good idea to continually increase that. The HP, or vitality rather, I can see bringing it up to the soft cap and then not worry about and it. Then sort of ignoring it until you, you've already beasted out everything else. Skill slot governs the more nuanced physical weapon attack. Determines whether or not you can use certain equipment. Uh, skill scales your skill-based weapons, which is pretty nice. Once you reach 25 in skill, you will start to see diminishing returns. And 50 is the soft cap. Good times. Blood tin. Blood tin stat governs power of weapons that use quicksilver bullets. Determines whether or not you can use certain equipment. Uh, 25 has diminishing returns, and 50 is again the soft cap. 
Okie dokie. The arcane stat governs power of arcane attack. Determines whether or not you can use certain attacks. Blah blah blah. And it's just like skill. Blood tinge, 50 is the soft cap, and then you get uh, serious diminishing returns until the hard cap of 99. HP, stamina, discovery. Oh, okay, I see. I didn't realize this. You have what is. Uh, there are three secondary stats HP and stamina, of course. Like this. And then you have something that is called discovery, which is the rate at which items will drop from enemies. That's nice. The higher the number, the more frequently they will drop. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, here we go. Alright. What? There are five defensive stats. Say five, yeah. Physical defense. Slow poison resistance. Rapid poison resistance. I'm looking forward to seeing the monster that has that ability. Uh, frenzy resistance. I'm not 100% what frenzy does. So, we'll learn. We'll see. And there's another one which is called Beast Hood. The higher this attribute, the closer you are to Beast Hood when temporarily transformed. Note, raising the Beast Hood meter will not transform your character into a beast. No Beast Hood. Okay. No Beast Mode has been found in the game, although... The Beast Claws transform state does give you giant wolf beast arms. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> giant wolf beast arms definitely does sound awesome. Physical. Okay. Physical resistance is. Okay, DR. Uh, physical versus blunt and thrust, which is interesting. Nice that they have a differentiation there. Uh, blood, which is resistance to uh, or DR from firearms, another blood attacks. DR arcane for arcane attacks, and then fire and bolt. I'm guessing bolt is some kind of crossbow. Lightning is is that that dude that killed you? Uh, I no, I killed him and I went forward and died somewhere else. It's not far, but... No. <sighs> Fuck. Unimolium? I guess. Get him. Get him! Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's so much reach! He's dead. <laughs> Fuck me. Like a boss, though. I mean, you took him out. Alright. Um, offensive stats, which will determine the amount of damage you do with various abilities. Durability, we know what that is. Blah. Special attacks. What? Cool. Determine the slow poison stack up. Determine the, there's slow poison attack, you get a rapid poison attack. You get versus kin, which does uh, how much damage you do to humans slash cosmic targets. Uh oh. I don't know what that is. I fight fucking aliens later. But uh, neat. And then versus beast, which is uh, non-humanoids basically. So like the, the birds and the wolves and the, or the dogs rather. Yeah, the non-humanoid. Other. Things as that. <laughs> and that is all I think we have for the stats, which actually is really interesting because Fuck. we. Oh damn! Are you shot at too? Yep. And that. Uh, nice. All right. Jump down. That is stats, folks. Stats, stats, stats. Yes, he's shot. Right. Nice! Nice! 
Well played, sir. Except for the whole, you know, falling down here. Except for all the not good playing. Fucker. Gun guy. What a tool. No. Not very nice. All right, guys, we're out of time. It was a it was a good time discussing stats and getting some things <laughs> figured out and squared away.